What if your entire life was a lie? There is a real possibility that you don't actually exist. What if our entire universe was just a hologram? Or what if our universe is just a simulation designed by some insane scientist in a lab? Or by beings of higher intelligence? Well, we live life every day believing certain things to be true. But as science and research progresses, we might want to take a step back and really rethink our entire definition of what we call reality. Well, these theories have high chances of giving you a serious episode of existential crisis. This first theory puts you in the darkest rooms of human loneliness called the solipsistic universe theory. This theory has some really shocking claims. It states that you are the only person to exist in the entire universe. The cosmos sprang into existence when you became sentient and it will vanish when you die. The idea behind solipsism is that the only thing you can be sure of is the existence of your mind. Your mind is completely private and non-observable to anyone else. So how can you be sure that others have thoughts and emotions as well? How are you sure that others are real and actually exist? The people in your life like your friends, family members and even your cat might just turn out to be a figment of your imagination. Other people might seem to possess conscious thoughts, emotions, memories and intentions just as you do. But you cannot be actually sure that they do. You can guess how the world looks to them based on your experiences. But guessing is not knowing. They might as well turn out to be lifeless robots. This is called the problem of other minds. How can you prove that anything outside your consciousness actually exists? Solipsism can quickly lead to an existential crisis as it forces us to question the whole nature of reality. But on a positive note, it can also emphasize on the importance of empathy as we can never really know how someone truly feels. There is another theory closely connected to this which is equally horrifying and thought-provoking. Let's say that a mad scientist created a machine into which he could disconnect and place a human brain. Let's say he then connected this machine to a supercomputer. Assuming that this machine would not only keep the brain alive and functioning, but it would also allow the scientists to create virtual input and sensory stimuli and feed them directly to the brain. Now the interesting thing is that the brain would interpret all of this information in exactly the same manner as a normal human sensory experiences, as such senses are already normally interpreted as electrical signals anyways. But what the brain experiences may not be what it is experiencing in a human body with free will. It is actually experiencing what the scientist is feeding it with. In this way, the scientist could create an entire world that is nothing but just an illusion. But to the trapped brain, everything would feel completely normal. But in reality, it's not actually reality. Make sense? So coming back to the present, what is stopping us from concluding that our reality is none other than a brain being stimulated in the dark basement of an insane scientist? The idea of this theory is that no brain could ever know whether it was in a skull in a human body or in some sci-fi artificial machine and could therefore never know whether everything it experiences is real or just an illusion. So it is impossible to know whether one's beliefs are right or wrong. We can only hope. Anyways, this is a thought experiment scenario used in philosophy to draw out particular elements of human concepts like knowledge, reality, truth, mind, consciousness and meaning. In the epic story of humanity, we always confidently assume that we are at the top and dominate other forms of life. But what if that story had a plot twist? What if the entire universe is not more than a simulation in a computer program? This program might be controlled by beings of higher intelligence or a more advanced human civilization. If you have ever seen the movie Matrix or played the Sims games, you'll know what I'm talking about. This completely changes the perspective of how we perceive reality. This also explains why we sometimes procrastinate and forget things. I mean it's not our fault, our player might have simply pressed the skip task button. But this raises an even more deeper question. If we live in a computer program, who is the programmer? And how can we be sure that the programmer is not living in a simulation as well? This quickly creates a loop. So who created the universe of the programmer's programmer? And how many such simulated universes actually exist? Just imagine the computing power that would be required to simulate an entire universe. Some advanced species could process a system that makes even our world's fastest supercomputers seem like small metal boxes. Maybe they would have perfected quantum computing. Or maybe it's something else entirely. Something which our limited small human minds can't even conceive. Of course, there are people who believe that all this is total BS. 
Some physicists believe that there's too much wasted complexity in our universe for it to be simulated. Others have argued that since the simulation hypothesis does not arrive at a falsifiable prediction, we can't really test or disprove it, and hence it's not worth seriously investigating. But something that should be definitely investigated is whether or not our entire universe is just a hologram. Sounds weird, isn't it? I introduce you to the holographic principle. Now this is different. This doesn't state that the universe is some sort of fake simulation out of the matrix. The idea is that the universe around us, which we are used to thinking of as being three-dimensional, is actually at a more fundamental level two-dimensional. And everything we see that's going on around us in three dimensions is actually happening in a two-dimensional space. Phew, that was a lot. The thinking goes something like this. Some distant two-dimensional surface contains all the data needed to fully describe our world. And much like in a hologram, this data is projected to appear in three dimensions. Let me simplify that a bit to you. It is similar to the bits and bytes that live on a compact disc or a CD. On this 2D plane, there lies information that fundamentally makes up our universe. Like the characters on a TV screen, we live on a flat surface that appears to look like it has depth. Now this might sound absurd, but when physicists assume that this is true in their calculations, the laws of physics suddenly seem to make much more sense. Big physics problems such as the nature of black holes and the grouping of gravity and quantum mechanics becomes much more simpler to solve. But there is no direct evidence that our universe actually is a two-dimensional hologram. These calculations aren't the same as mathematical proof. Rather, they are intriguing suggestions that our universe could be a hologram. So what do you think? Do you think that you actually exist? Do you think your dog exists? Or are we all just living in a simulation controlled by giant alien cats? Let me know in the comments. And oh, not subscribing to this channel is a serious intergalactic crime, and it will result in you getting arrested by robots. Having that said, turn on the notifications as well, and I'll see you next time.